Hello, welcome to the series. Let's learn a Microsoft 65 topic. Today's topic is Microsoft Teams templates. We'll try to understand what it is, why it is important, and how to work with it. Before Teams was introduced, we have, we had actually, or which we can say we still have Teams site template in SharePoint, which was a place for collaboration and sharing files. Um, Interactors of Teams has, of course, changed the way we collaborate, and of course, it is for better. The things. The things we were missing till now was templates because one team cannot fit all and we definitely needed different sets of templates to be created just like we had in SharePoint, you know. Now as an end user, you can select one template when you create a team. And as an admin, you can create multiple templates based on existing team templates or create a new one from scratch or use an existing team to create a template. So let's have a look at all the options. Before we proceed, I would recommend you that you connect with me on Twitter uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, follow my blog, syncventures.com, and also subscribe to my channel, Syncventures, if you like my videos and the blog post. Okay. So, yeah, let's look into the team templates. As you can see, I'm already logged in in the Teams Admin Center. And to work with team templates, you need to have uh, be in the uh, Admin Center. You should have admin access. Otherwise, you will not be able to do this. Okay. So where is the team templates? So it's under the teams here, and it's called team templates, as you can see. So by default, SharePoint, uh, by default, sorry, the teams gives us a lot of templates already, uh, like manage a project, Adopt Office 65, collaborate to patient care, organize help desk, hospital, onboard employees, manage events. But maybe these all doesn't fit your organization, and you might want to create a new one. So how to do that? So it's very simple. You just click on Add. And here you get three three options. One is to create a brand new template, which is like creating a from scratch. You know, you don't have anything there, and you start from scratch. And use an existing team as a template. With basically, it means that you already have a team which you can use to create a template. And the third one is to start with an existing template. The thing which I'm going to show right now in the first is that start with an existing template. Uh, in which I will pick an existing template and I'll customize it to our needs, okay? So I'll say next. So the first step is that uh, after that is to select a template which you start want to start as a starting point. In this case, I will say manage a project, okay? Uh, so that actually what I did was I clicked on the template and then it briefs me what it is a template. So it's a good idea to have a look what this template does before we make a copy of it okay so it has four channels and three two apps actually okay so let's go back to our tab and i'll say next here so first is that you name the template so you say manager project uh, uh, xyz maybe it's a company name you know coordinate your project and you have different settings of like you can see the locale but in this case we'll Select it to low English. Next. So as you can see, we have uh, four channels already available, general, announcements, resources, and planning. So let's say I don't want the planning, which is based on notes, so I will delete it. So it's not needed, right? Then we have wiki, which we cannot delete because it will be there always. And the one note, which I will delete, and what I would like to add is our planner, which is I think is needed for any project, right? Planner, and I also want to have the list app, which is quite useful in these these things. So, yep, and I will move my video screen, and I can say you can say apply, right? So then we have um, three things here: general announcement resources. If you want to add another channel, you can of course do it. Add, and let's say we want to say um, announce general announcement resources, and files will always be there, so you don't have to add it really. So you can actually add other different things if you want to add. But in this case, I'll leave it as of now. So, yep. And then we'll say submit. So now the template is created. You can see we have the manager project XYZ, which is the template which we created now. So as an end user, if you want to create a template using this, what we can do. 
So let's log into Teams. So I'll use the web, web browser one. Okay. And we go to Teams from here. And you can see we have join or create a team. Then we click on create a team. So it's, it also gives you example from scratch, from a group or team, or you can, we can select from a template. And the one which we created was, it is not available right now here, okay. It means that it has not come here. Sometimes it takes time to get it here. Okay, so we'll just refresh it again. No, still not here. But yeah, let's have a look. I have I had created another one before, which you can just select from here. And you can see that we had general announcement resources, list planner, and wiki. You can say start. And we can say public, give a name, project ellipsis, maybe. So you can see it has already popped up here. It will show up pretty soon. So one thing I want to mention is that, uh, as you can see that the template was not really available to us. Uh, when I did it for the first time, it was available like in five minutes, but sometimes it takes time, maybe half an hour to get it there. So, but so be sure uh, if you're planning to use it, you before create a template before you uh, promise anyone to, you know, that, okay, yeah, you can have the template ready because that's that's something which is not in our control, okay? So uh, it says, feel, feel, feel free to close this window and go to other things. We'll let you know when it's ready. So we said, yeah, close it. So you can see it's already here, but we can access it now, probably. Um, yeah, and the general is there, but uh, there are other things to be added. So we'll just wait for it, okay? In the meantime, uh, we can look into the other two options. So add, create brand new template, and this, as you can see, that it's a blank one. And we can say uh, blank template example. Okay. And I can just copy this and paste it here. Uh, next. So it has only general. I would like to have something else, maybe. Resources, right? Shown by default. Okay. Apply. And here I would like to have planner maybe. At apply. So very very basic and it's very similar to the what we have done before. It's just that it is blank, you know. So yeah. The third option is the middle one, use an existing team as a template. Yeah, so then it will load all the teams you have are already available. So let's say we select the human resources one. And you know, I did the same. If you click here, it will take you to the, that particular teams, team actually, which we don't need. So you have to select here and say next. And human resources template. Right. A wrong Put here. And so next. And you can see that it ha already has a lot of things added. SharePoint pages, one note list, SharePoint forms, planner. So we will let it be. So no worries. So say submit. 
and then it is created also. Um, now, when we go there in our teams here, and you can now see announcement resources is already there, right? And we also have the right. Yes. So um, we can see if the other two templates are there. Create a team. So human resources has showed up and blank is also. And uh, manage project X, Y, Z. So all three now. So you saw that the other two came up pretty fast, actually. But the other, 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 the first one took time. So we can say it's a blank template example, and it has two, two things. Let's say just then create a private one. Private team. Create. So, so this is how you can actually work with the templates and pretty, as I said, it's pretty useful. Uh, you can create templates for organization, which everybody needs to use. Uh, you can force people to start with the basic template. Of course, as an admin, they can change the template, but it is still a start. It is very similar to the concept templates, which we had in SharePoint, where you give um, the, the admins a starting point and then they can, add or remove things on their own, you know. Um, or as a policy, you can, of course, also said that, that, that these things cannot be removed. Uh, some of the things cannot be removed, you know, so those things can also be done. And uh, what interesting will be to look at is, is to, you know, how we can utilize PowerShell to automate all this, which will be my next topic in next week. So please stay tuned and tune and uh, we will talk about it next week also. So that that's it. In this video, uh, I want to keep it small and simple. Um, and as I said before, please, please uh, connect with me on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, follow my blog post, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for today. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.